In this lesson, we are going to talk about soft deleting models. This is a really useful part of application because sometimes we do not want models to be completely deleted from the database, but what we want to do is trash them such that the user can restore them in future if they wish. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is come to the documentation and search for soft delete. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you exactly how to find what you need from the documentation. And right here, you can see this is soft deleting. The first step is to use the soft delete trait in our model. So this is a link to the soft delete trait. I'm just going to come to my application and the model in this case is the app post model. So I'm going to paste this so you can see illuminate database eloquence soft delete and I'm just going to use it right here. And when we're using this trait, it's adding a bunch of methods on this model that we can use. Second step is to add the soft deletes column to a database table. Now, how do we add this? We can just copy this, come to our database migrations post table and add it here. Okay. So we're adding soft deletes to the post table. And what happens is if we run migrations again, which means migrate refresh, delete all the migrations and then run again, it's going to create the deleted at column in our database, which is fine. But this is what I want to talk about. If your application is already in production, you can't run migrate refresh because it's going to delete all the data in the database and you don't want that. What you want to do is actually create a new migration that is going to save this table to the post table. So let me show you. If I run add make migration add soft delete to post table, then I'm going to say table is equal to post. Okay. So PH3 assign make a migration called add soft delete to post table and the table in this case is post. So it says migration created successfully. So if you can see right there, we have a migration called as soft delete to post table. And now we have schema table post automatically added there for us. Notice the difference here. We have schema create post because this migration creates the post table. But then in this one, we have schema table post because this one is going to help us modify the post table. So here, what we want to do is table soft delete is going to add the soft delete column to our post table. Now here, what we want to do is drop the soft delete column in case we want to roll back our migration. So you want to make sure that you read the documentation. So you can see here, it says deleted at column to the database. Okay. So there's a method to drop a column in Lavo. So here we can just say table drop column deleted at. okay so if we run the up method it creates the soft delete column which is the deleted at and here if we run the down method it drops the deleted at column let me show you how this works we're gonna run our migrations php asan migrate and you can see it migrated the soft delete migration only because Lavo knows exactly what migrations have been migrated and which ones have not yet been migrated Right now, we can roll back by saying add migrate rollback, and this is going to roll back the latest batch of migrations. And you can see that it rolled back only the one that was migrated. Let me show you. I'm just going to open my SQL Pro, log into my SQL Pro, select my database, which is CMS, and then we'll check out the post table. Okay, so we have just one record at the moment. So let's migrate. If I migrate, come back here, refresh, you can see we have a deleted at column. If we check out the structure, you can see we have deleted at timestamp right there. Now let's roll back. If we roll back, refresh, you can see that the deleted at column has been removed. Okay. So if your application is in production, you want to make sure that you actually use custom migrations like this so that you don't refresh your whole database and lose data. So I'm just going to run at migrate and it's created that column in the database for us. Okay. Awesome. What's the next step for setting up soft deletes? I think that's it. 
The only thing we do right now is when we call the delete method, it's actually simply going to trash the post, but not eradicate it from the database. Okay. So let me show you what happens. This is our trash method. What we want to do is when the user clicks on this trash, we make a delete request to our API and actually delete this post. Let's go ahead and work on that. I'm just going to go to my index.blade.php for the post right here. And then when this is clicked, so I'm going to change this to a button. Okay. And remove the href refresh. Okay. So we just have a button right now, but we are going to wrap it around in a form. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to have a form. The action is going to be the delete route. So we're going to say route post dot destroy. And if you don't remember the name, you can check out at route list. So you can see we have post dot destroy right here. Okay. And then we want to pass the post ID, which is going to be the parameter because make sure you check out the route. You can see it requires the post parameter right here. Okay. Next, we want to make sure that we say the method is post. Then we also want to make sure that we add a CSRF token. And finally, we want to make sure we call the method directive and set this to delete. Okay. Next, we'll post our button right there. Okay. So this is going to be of type submit. And when it's clicked, it would submit a post request. But in Lavo, we would say a delete request to this endpoint, which is a post controller. Okay. And this is going to call the destroy method right here, which is expecting an ID, but using route model binding, we can just type in post right here. And when we get this, we are going to say post delete. And without soft deleting, it's going to completely eradicate this from the database. But since we are using soft delete, it's simply going to trash this. Okay. So here we're going to delete and we're also going to flash a message. So I'll just copy this flash message we have here, modify it. So here we're going to have flash deleted successfully. And then we're also going to redirect back to the same page. So I'm just going to copy this redirect and paste it right here. Awesome. So let's see what happens if I refresh view the page source. You can see right down here, we have a form with this action and then the method is post. We have the hidden token and the hidden method, and we have the type of submit button right there. So if I click on trash, great, you can see post deleted successfully. And when we fetch for post all, we no longer see the post right here. It's gone. But if we come back to our application, check out the post table, the content, you would see that it's actually still there, but the deleted at column right here has been populated, which means using soft deletes, Lavo saves a deleted at timestamp to know when it was actually deleted, but it isn't eradicated from our database. And now when we try to fetch a post or find or use any of the methods to view posts, it's not going to show up right here because it has been deleted. Okay. So this has been deleted. So maybe we should actually change the message to trashed. Okay. Because it's just trashed. It's not permanently deleted. All right. So that's how easy it is to implement the trashing of models in your applications. Thank you so much and see you in the next lesson.